No, um, I think the format it probably has something to do it, with it. But uh, I, I do think that, um, you know, while uh, a lot of the All-Star games have not been competitive, usually when it's close down the stretch, it becomes very competitive. And you know, I think with the format, the way it was, uh, you know, first team to, you know, get to that 157 mark, you know, I think it just became more competitive a little bit longer. Um, but it's not uncommon for, uh, for All-Star games to get competitive down the stretch when they're close. Next question for Coach. In the back, uh, three. We'll be back center. Kyle Goon, OC Register. Frank, um, obviously you had the charity element. You had the fans right there near your bench kind of chanting LeBron and Giannis. How did that affect sort of the energy in the court and what your typical experience of the All-Star game is? Yeah, well, you know, obviously when uh, – when there's there's money involved going to the charity, you know that that was representing Team LeBron. Um, I think our guys, uh, you know, just put a little bit more effort and, and spirit into that that part of it, and wanting to win it for our our charity. Um, you know, and then having them close like that on the court, um, just it, it, it contributes to the atmosphere, you know, and the energy of the building and and, uh, and of our team, and um, you know, it's a fun part of the game. Next row up on the right, hi coach, hey. I mean, yep. Lamri from uh, Moroccan newspaper La Mata. Uh, with all these uh, global success of the NBA, I mean, uh, this year we've been like 400 and more uh, foreign journalists. Uh, do you think uh, with the launching again with, uh, of the African League, the NBA African League, um, don't you think uh, NBA should also organize an NBA All-Star in Africa, and you, would you be interested in taking part in such an event? Well, it's a great idea, and um, you know, I don't know if it's been discussed or not with our, with our league office. I'm sure it has. They think of everything. And um, you know, if that were to, to take place, it would be great for the, you know, the global nature of our game, and I would be uh, first in line to sign up for something like that. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, Frank. How much interaction did you have with Coach Nurse this weekend, and what, what's your greatest impression of him overall? Uh, the interaction was uh, was minimal. Uh, we saw him, I saw him on the elevator when we when I checked in. <laughs> the first time I saw him, and uh, uh, our wives and kids hung out a little bit uh, in the hospitality suite at the hotel. Um, saw him a little bit pregame tonight, and my overall impression of him is he's a champion in the first year as a head coach uh, for the Toronto Raptors. So. Uh, much, much respect. Christian, over here on this left side standing. Coach, how's it going? Christian Winfield, New York Daily News, over this way. Just, what's, it, what's it like to coach a game when you have five stars on the court at all times? It's, it's uh, what, what people like to call good problems. You know, who are you going to give the ball to? Uh, they're all good. They're all right answers. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, just uh, it, it, was, it was great for me to see, you know, the, the collective competitive spirit of our group, you know, working together, you know, usual competitors, fierce competitors against each other. And that's, that's what's always been great to me about, uh, about All-Star Weekend, the All-Star Game, is you know, seeing guys that normally want to kill each other and uh, working together, you know, and then combining that competitive spirit strength into, into one force. And, uh, you know, I think you saw that with, uh, with the veteran group that we had out there on the floor in that fourth quarter. Back uh, Gilbarak, Channel 5, uh, Israel. How many of the L.A. plays did you bring to this All-Star game, if at all? Uh, we ran a handful of uh, – we only ran probably five plays the whole game. You know, it was more, <laughs> it was more like uh, freelance and uh, letting, letting the guys, uh, you know, feel the action out on the floor. But, um, you know, we definitely ran uh, – the first play of the game was one of our plays. And, uh, you know, the Giannis duck in – I mean, not Giannis, um, the Joker duck in in front of the rim was one of our plays. Russell got to the bucket uh, on one of ours. Um, but most of it was pretty freelance, and um, you know we try to we try to do some some of the ATO stuff uh, for each individual individual player. You know James's ATO play is the, everybody stands still and let him go play ISO basketball, and he scores almost every time. So uh, we ran that as well. Kyle in the back under the camera. Kyle going OC register. Um, Frank, I know it's all in fun, but. Like you said, you ran one of your plays, and Kawhi scored the first basket. Um, was it kind of fun to sort of realize that vision of coaching Kawhi alongside LeBron and AD for you? I didn't really go there mentally, to be honest. 
you know, uh, it was an all-star game. It's an exhibition. I had fun with that, that aspect of it, but uh, I love my Lakers team. Michael, here on the left side. Uh, Mike Pina, SB Nation. Uh, Coach, what, did, what was your impression of Chris Paul tonight and just the confidence of having a veteran point guard like that lead you down the stretch? Well, Chris Paul is a big reason for the win. Uh, he, he told me early in the day that, uh, you know, he wasn't one of those vets that just likes to take a, take a rest in a game like this, that he wants to come in and uh, win a game you know, and help our guys win a game. And all the young guys throughout the course of the game, every time they made a mistake or didn't play defense, he was yelling at them. <laughs> so, so he got, he got us, uh, not only got us to the finish line, but also, uh, you know, provided uh, great leadership and some big plays in, in that fourth quarter down the stretch. Last question on the right side in this third row. Hi, Coach. Joseph Phillips, Chicago Crusader newspaper. Uh, with the All-Star game being in Chicago, how cool was it to see the hometown kid, AD, the game winning free throw from the charity stripe for charity. <laughs> well, you said it best, right? I mean, uh, you can't draw that stuff up. Sort of a Hollywood ending to uh, this weekend's festivities. Uh, the local kid wins the game uh, and wins it for charity. You know, uh, I was happy for him. Um, you know, I knew it was, uh, was going to be a, a special kind of uh, a weekend for him coming home. And to see him win a game like that was pretty special. Thank you, Coach. Okay.